Uh, today we had a probable cause hearing with uh, Leslie Aberly, um, and the state presented evidence as to why we believe that probable cause exists for these cases to be bound over to the Superior Court. Uh, and the court's uh, judge um, ultimately did uh, find probable cause, so the cases will now be transferred up to Stratford Superior Court. What's the next step? Uh, the next step is the case will be presented to the grand jury, and if they return indictments, then she will be arraigned in Superior Court. Uh, excuse me, Superior Court. So. As far as going deeper into the case, have we gotten any information about who had custody of Eve at the time of her death, things of that nature? Um, at this point, given the nature of the charges, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to talk about any status of the case or the investigation. And so full information will be presented to the grand jury when? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll present the entire case to the grand jury. Um, at this point, I can't give you a date. Uh, we present cases once a month to the grand jury. Um, we typically have 90 days from the time that um, probable cause is found, so it should be within the next three months. Where are Jasmine Rood and Mark Ross in the system? Uh, Jasmine Rood's uh, probable cause was found on her charges, so they was, it was also bound over to Superior Court, and Mr. Ross waived probable cause, so it would also be bound over to Superior Court. So all three cases are now in Superior Court awaiting uh, the presentation to the grand jury.